Hey YouTube, we've got hurled dats. Yes, that's what these are called. These are historical hand axes. They're also specially designed to be a throwing axe. Uh, these are carbon steel. They didn't say which carbon steel, but an unidentified carbon steel. The total length of a hurl bat is 17 and a half inches. The length of the edge, seven inches. These come unsharpened from Cult of Athena, but you can pay them extra to sharpen it, or you can sharpen it yourself. I had them put an edge on the ax part, and then I actually touched it up myself. Let me roll in a little bit of footage using the hurl bat as just a regular hand axe. Now keep in mind, the edge on a hurl bat, the geometry here is not very broad. Okay, so it's not like it's not like most hatchets or many axes that have a broad geometry. So you're not really going to be like splitting wood that well with it or, uh, you know, chopping off big chunks of wood because the edge, it, it's more like a knife or a machete. But just for completeness sake, I wanted to show a little bit of chopping. All right, so let's roll in that footage and then we'll be back for the throwing. Okay, YouTube, I hope you like that. Now, as you see, for uh, hand axe purposes, I did put a little bit of uh, some makeshift handle scales and a little grip around those, just for some grip. If you want to use your hurled bat to chop with, you can do that. All right, now let's roll in the throwing footage, me throwing triples with my hurl bats. We are back. Now I gotta say, these hurl bats are the most well-designed throwing axe you're ever gonna find as far as being incredibly easy to successfully stick into a target. If you're a beginner thrower, I would highly recommend these hurl bats. I know they're kind of expensive for a throwing axe. It, they're $200 for a set of three, uh, but I gotta say, these are very, very high quality. Now, when you throw them, 
all in a set like that, you are going to basically have to kind of repair them after a session because it's inevitable if this is stuck in the target, sometimes you're accidentally going to hit the hurl bat with another hurl bat. And you see those little, like little gashes and marks right there are just from the steel on steel contact. So your hurl bats will get a little bit damaged from steel on steel contact, uh, but they are pretty easy to repair. For challenge purposes, I'm trying to hit a fairly small target with all three just because that makes it more difficult, okay? If you don't want to injure your hurl bats, have three separate targets. All right, but all in all, these are fun as hell. Very addictive to throw these. You can sharpen these other parts if you want. I don't have any part sharpened except the ax part because, you know, this is where I throw it from. I don't really want that part too sharp. And you don't really need an edge here, you know, because it just sticks with the point, so. I, I don't have any sharpened edges here, but if you wanted to be crazy, you know, I mean, you could you could sharpen those yourself if you wanted to and have a gigantic flying razor blade. All right, YouTube, so that is my video on my hurl bats. Hope you enjoyed it. This has been We All Juggle Knives. I'm out.